Hey, I'm Thomas. I'm one of Matt's friends from St. Evex. It's uh, 6.47 uh, a.m. here in Vancouver. Uh, I went down to the airport yesterday to pick Matt up for the first leg of his excellent journey across Canada. So I took the train down and then I, we helped, I helped put his bike together. Then we biked all the way back to my place, which is about an hour and 20 minutes. Um, I had to go do some stuff yesterday, but Matt went around, ate a lot of fruit, got his bike fixed, bought a GPS locator, so we're now just wheeling his bike downstairs to officially start his trip across Canada. This is like paradise for me. So anyways, just uh, riding through Langley, BC, and uh, I happened to see this Langley's Farmer's Market. And uh, so I stopped here and uh, just couldn't pass up a meal, so I just had uh, six large mangoes. And I wasn't even really that hungry, but I just was biking by and I saw this beautiful fruit stand. So I just had to stop by. So I got my bike just over there and the guy here was very nice enough to let me use their staff washroom because as you know, mangoes are very messy. So I'm gonna get back on the road here. I'm about only 35K into my ride, still about 100 more to go. So I'm gonna hit the road now. Look at that beautiful Canadian landscape right there at its finest. I went past a place earlier and there were people out water skiing, believe it or not. And here's some fellas here just fishing. And I don't know if you can tell there from uh, this video, but that water is just blue, like as in crystal clear. It's hard to believe how nice of a day it is here. I've been wearing shorts since 6.30 this morning when I left Burnaby. So it's just a really gorgeous day outside. I'm seeing lots of nice scenery, nice views. This is the road I'm biking through and I've been biking on this road for maybe about 30 kilometers and it's probably the nicest part of my trip so far and as you can see the mountain and the landscape there just rocks up really high on both sides. All right, final video of the day. I made it to Hope after making a wrong turn, which uh, I, I guess I'll learn from next time to read the signs. I guess I was a little undercarbed at the time and maybe was just focusing too much on the road and not really looking at signs. Ended up driving an extra 10K further than I had to each way, which was 20K. So now I'm back in Hope and a uh, gorgeous day outside. And as you can see, the uh, mountains in the background. I'm actually surrounded by mountains on all sides. The way Hope is set up, it's almost like a big bowl. And I'm in the center of the bowl. And that's where the town's located. I'm just right now uh, at the lo local coffee shop here. The local coffee shop has wireless internet, so I'm in there right now using their internet and enjoying a big feast of mangoes. So I'm going to go in there. I just picked up some groceries from the grocery store. I've been eating a lot of mangoes since I got to BC. They're just really cheap and extremely tasty. So I've only had actually 
four bananas in the past, uh, I don't know, probably three, four days. I haven't been really been eating bananas. I've been just crushing mangoes at every single meal. So I'm going to go in there, check some emails, uh, and then I'm going to eat a bunch of mangoes. And then it's about uh, 5.30 here in uh, Hope. And then I'm going to head to Helen's house here shortly and get set up for the night.